What's poppin' YouTube? So it's finally the day, man. It's time for the room tour, bro. Y'all have been spamming. Y'all have been spamming in my comments that y'all want the room tour. So we're gonna do the room tour today, all right? So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna start right here. We're gonna go all the way around till we get right back to the setup. And we're gonna end off with the setup. So we're gonna start right here. Let's go. All right, so this is my shoe rack. I got this on Amazon. Um, I believe it was probably like 70, 80 bucks. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna show it on the screen though. And yeah, man, it's pretty cool. The only thing I don't like is like, okay, so you see how I have these two high tops? These two like things are bigger than this one. These are smaller. So you can only have low tops from here all the way up. Only high tops can go on the bottom two shelves, which kind of sucks because I like high tops more than low top shoes, but you know, it's all right. So for the rest, I just have some glasses, mainly because I don't have enough shoes yet to put here. Um, but yeah, so then I got this fake plant. I have them all around my room. I got one right here, I got some right here. Um, these also go on Amazon. Pretty much everything in my room is gonna be from Amazon, so I'm gonna be linking everything in the description. So if you want anything from my room, just go check out the description and it's gonna be there. Um, but yeah, so I got this fake plant on Amazon. I think it came with like six or eight of them for like 30 bucks, I'm not entirely too sure though. And then poster with the picture frame. I got both of these at Walmart, so they're not going to be linked. But um, you can find them probably at Walmart for the poster, like 12 bucks, and then the frame, probably 15 So yeah, that's that. I really like the poster. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty clean. Then you come over here to my pegboard. My pegboard, I have a LED alarm clock. Bro, everybody has one of these these days. So if you don't have one, bro, you got to cop one for the room. It's an essential. It's pretty fire, um, probably like 30 bucks on Amazon. This was a gift from my friend. It is a Shadow of War Axe. Actually traded, I think, the Overwatch 1 game back when it first came out for this. So, you know, had that for like five years, W. I got my Xbox controller, you know the vibes, Xbox on top. My car keys. Then I got my little, uh, my little camera bag right here. Then I got my Los Angeles hat. I have a hat collection in my closet. I'm, you know, it's getting pretty big. Um, this is one of my favorite hats though, and it matches the white and black theme I got going on. Then this is a blue glasses kit. It has two of them for like when you're looking at a screen too long and it makes your head hurt, you put on one of these glasses and it's pretty cool. Then, you know, it's just some body spray. Just thought I'd put it right here. Down here, I got my essential oil diffuser. Right now, I don't have essential oils to diffuse. So I'm currently just using it for lights. Um, but yeah, I need to get some essential oils. Yo, comment down below if there's any like essential oils that y'all that y'all mess with. Like, what's the best ones that I should get? Then I got just this lamp, you know, I got my charger and the thing for this. Oh, also, by the way, bruh, I had LED lights on here. Tell me how the whole thing fell off, bruh. I'm not even gonna link these because these were cheap and I do not want y'all to get these because they literally fell off so fast. So yeah. Um, I also have, have the thing back here to turn on these lights, but I don't feel like turning them off. If you haven't seen what they look like with the lights on, just go check my last YouTube video, my room tour setup video. Not my, God damn. Go check my last video, the transformation video part two. You'll see what it looks like with the lights behind it. I just don't feel like turning them on right now. Then I got this poster. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I really like this poster and I really like the meaning and how it looks. I'm not telling you it's gonna be easy. I'm telling you it's gonna be worth it. So basically, I mean, it's, it's common sense, but like the grind that you put in to get where you're at to achieve your dreams, it's never going to be easy. But if you just put your head down and have really good work at work ethic, just work hard, bro. Hard work pays off every time, bro. I'm telling you. And you know, this is where I got my bed. You know, I sleep here. Boring. It's actually really comfortable though. I don't know where I got it. It was already here when I moved in. Shout out to my roommate. Okay, then you come over here. I got my Funko Pops. These are all basketball players. I love basketball, I love NBA. If you made it here to this point right now, comment down below your favorite NBA player and your favorite NBA team, all right? So my favorite NBA teams, I like the Pelicans and the Warriors. Those are my two teams. And Hakeem Olajuwon is just the GOAT, bro. I love this dude. One of my favorite centers of all time. He's goaded. I love this dude. I love Steph. I love Zion. Even though my boy, you barely play, you need to get your you know what I'm saying? You need to get your act together, bro. You need to play next year. We need you, bro. I think they all ran me about $15 on Amazon. Pretty cheap, pretty cheap, you know? And they look really cool, so cop them. These three art pieces already here as well because of my roommate. Again, shout out to my roommate. He's a goat. Love that dude. You know what I'm saying? Got the Warriors hat. 
on the side and the two fake plants also with the kit from the other fake plants no this is a vibe it's a vibe oh yeah also blackout curtain for when it's daytime it's currently three o'clock right now but my room is dark as hell because blackout curtain then I got my gravity sign. I got this custom made on Amazon for, I believe, $40. I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, it really looks dope. It's really bright, though. They have this setting you can add for extra money, a brightness, like a brightness uh, like changer where you could change the brightness of the sign. I didn't get this because I didn't think I would need it, but bro, trust me, you need it. This is why my camera is going completely dark because it's so bright. Like, bro, it, this is how it looks, bro. It's so bright in my room. I don't even need any other LED lights because it just lights up my whole room blue. So yeah, W sign, you know what I'm saying, your boy Gravity. Sub to your boy Gravity on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? You don't need anything else in life but Gravity videos, so go sub to your boy, you know what I'm saying? And I got my little, uh, you know, sword, you know, a little sword, fire little sword. I got this in Tennessee a while back, about $60, $70, but I got it from a shop, so I can't link that. You could probably find it somewhere, I'm not sure. Now this is my mini fridge. I got it on Amazon for about 150 bucks, I'm pretty sure. Now I got some Celsius in here. It's a lot of energy drinks, bro. If you're a streamer, you know the struggle, like. <laughs> More energy. This is actually really good for you, bro. If you could find Zevia, one of the best energy drinks and best for you that you can find these days. But yeah, bro, a lot of energy drinks. <laughs> a lot of energy drinks, bro. Yeah, if you're a streamer, bro, you know the vibes, bro. I got me a little Capri Sun. More energy drinks. Like one sip of a Gatorade. I got to throw that out in some barbecue sauce. Sweet Baby Ray's. Best barbecue sauce you can get. Then you got my TV. Also already here. You know what I'm saying? Same with this little dresser thing or shelf, whatever you want to call it. Already here. Had some vape plants that were already here, so I don't know where any of this stuff was from. This is a little drawer. I got some of my stuff in here, like, you know, my my watches and my bracelets and stuff. Just little things like that. Same thing in there, just like little stuff. I can't, I don't feel like opening it, to be honest. And I got my lights back here. Also behind here is my Xbox One S, my Xbox Series S, my bad. Now, let's get to the closet. First of all, we got some shoes. Not gonna lie, most of these shoes don't fit me. These YouTube KDs are fire though, bro. Yo, should I make some gravity YouTube shoes, bro? Would that be fire? But yeah, bro, I got the I got some Crocs, some winter shoes, which I only have one, which is really sad because I really like these shoes. I can't find the other one though. Slides, boots, you know, just a little stuff. These LeBrons don't fit me. These shoes barely fit me. This is where I keep all my clothes. Got my shirts right here. Got my hoodies on this side. You know, some slight stuff. Then I got my drawers with all my clothes, you know, socks, underwear, stuff like that all right here. Got a little change drawer where I keep my change. I save up my change and then eventually I'm going to go, you know, change it for actual cash. Got my suitcase where I put my stuff on. Some extra panels that I didn't use. Um, This is a back massage kit. And this is my Xbox bag that I put my Xbox in. It's literally the perfect size for an Xbox, bro. I'm telling you. And then up here I just have all my boxes for my stuff like my speaker box, headphones, equipment. Got a basketball, Rasta pickle, Pelicans little thing. This is for my uh, Hyper Quadcast S box, speaker. This is my hat collection, you know what I'm saying? We getting there, bro. It's not that big, but like we getting there. And I got some shoe boxes and stuff down here. Another thing that was already here, my, my roommate, you know, W roommate, he had this here already for me. Then I got an RC car, what I, which I got for Christmas a while back, which I do not use no more. Like, I haven't used it in years. Um, then I got some more Funko Pops. Michelangelo and Fruity Pebbles. W Funko Pops. Behind them, I have some drawers with some, like, chapstick and stuff like that. And nails and screws and all that type of good stuff. Another one of these knives, which one of my homies gave to me. Shout out to him. He gave that to me for free. W. I got a little recycling bin. A little Deadpool Bob Ross, which I had to keep even though I took him out the box when I was younger. Like a dumbass. Also got clothes in there. Um, but yeah, that's... Oh yeah, right here. This is my calendar. You can tell I barely use it, it's still in May. But these are my goals for 2023, bro. 5K on YouTube or get monetized. We are getting close, bro. We're at like 3.3K subs as I'm recording this. W, not gonna lie. 5K on TikTok. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't know if I'm gonna hit this. 
I have been slacking on TikTok. I've just been grinding streaming and YouTube. I haven't been worried about TikTok. I need to start grinding on TikTok more to get close to the 5K. I'm currently at 1,500, I believe. $10,000 saved. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that one. You know, my car's transmission went out and I had to buy a whole new car. If y'all want a car reveal, let me know. But that might be out the window, but we'll see because we're still grinding. Be positive no matter what. I've tried my best so far. I believe I've done pretty good and work out four to six days a week. I have been accomplishing that all year except for recently. The past few weeks I haven't been able to because my car, I didn't have a car for a few weeks. And I've been grinding so much on YouTube and streaming. Sometimes I haven't went. But I've gone at least three to four days a week for the past few weeks. So we still have been grinding, just not as much, okay? So that's my goals. Now on to what y'all have been waiting for this whole video. The setup, bro. Fire setup, man. I love my setup, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I love my setup. One of the best setups I've ever had, probably the best. The first thing we're gonna talk about is my chair. Bro, I did not know that this many people would want my chair. Like, jeez, man, I did not know my chair was popping like this, bro. But I'm gonna put y'all on, I'm not gonna gatekeep. I think it was about $60 on Amazon as well. Go cop it, link in the description. We're gonna start over here. This is my controller that I game with every day when I play. I've been grinding a lot of R6, I'm not gonna lie. If you're cracked at R6, bro, comment down below and let me know, bro. We can run, bro. We need a fifth right now. So if you're cracked at R6, bro, let me know. I've been grinding R6, bro. It's so fun. Then I got my little uh, hourglass. I've had this for a long time. My grandma got me this when I was like nine years old. Then I got this Xbox stand. If you plug it in, if you plug it in, it like lights up. Hold on, let me show y'all. So when you plug it up, it charges all your battery packs. So all the PlayStation players talking about, Oh my God, at least I don't need batteries. I don't either, my boy. I got battery packs that I can reuse. Yes, sir. Cam's with four. It's probably like $30. Low key, if you're an Xbox player, it's a must buy. Buy this. Then I got my capture card. I basically plug one of these into my Xbox, plug the other one into my monitor, then plug this blue thing into my PC. And boom, it streams on my TV. It's a very good capture card. It's a budget one. It's like the Elgato. It's actually really good. I'd recommend like $40 on Amazon. Very clutch, very clutch. Then I got my storage. This st storage is probably like, it was eight terabytes. I think it was like $120, $150. Uh, you do not need this much, but for me as a young kid, I was like, bro, I'm gonna buy this so I never have to buy it again. And I've never had to buy any again. So, you know, it works. Okay, then you go to my PC. I have a SkyTech gaming PC, I believe it's called. I don't know. So instead of like trying to figure out what I got, I'm gonna just put it all on screen right here. The PC that's gonna be in the link is gonna be my starter PC, but I'm gonna add the parts that I bought to upgrade it. Me personally, if you plan on streaming or playing like games like Call of Duty or GTA or like, you know, big games like that, I wouldn't recommend getting this starter PC. When I was young, I literally bought the first thing that I thought looked cool. So don't do that. Make sure you're doing your research on your PC to get a good bang for your buck because I definitely could have got a better PC for the price point, but I just went straight into it and was like, I'm buying this PC. So just make sure you do your research before buying an expensive PC like this. And then I got my speakers. These things low key sound really good. I actually really like them. I don't, they're called like the Sanyun white six inch speakers or something. Run me about $70 on Amazon. Got this little penguin I got from the aquarium. My favorite animal is penguins. Comment down below your favorite animal. And then I got my monitor. Monitors. You know what I'm saying? W wallpaper. Yes, sir. I got two Skepter monitors. This one and this one. 75 hertz, 144 hertz. Then I got 144 hertz G Tech monitor. All these monitors are really good, but I'd recommend getting all three of the same hertz. I should have got a 144 for here because you can't really tell on here. But like when I take pictures, this one is lighter than these two, so it looks like disproportionate. I don't know. Then I got the Glorious Model O wireless. This ran me about 80 bucks, I believe, on Amazon. Really good mouse. The only thing that I would say, like that. That I have a problem with is that the battery life is not that long it probably lasts like a day or two and then you have to charge it again so that's kind of poo but besides that really good mouse then i got the rk royal clutch 61 not gonna lie i would not recommend this keyboard it was good at first but now it's like giving me problems it's a good bang for your buck if you don't have a lot of money but i would just save up the money and buy something more worthwhile it ran me about 50 dollars on amazon Bro, peep the cable management though, bro. You could barely see any cables. You know, if you look close, you can see them back there, but they're covered. And so is the monitor mount covered by my speaker. So it looks like it's floating. It's really clean. And also down here, bro, no cables, bro. You could like barely see them over there. W cable management in the chat, bro. 
Yo, in the chat, bro, you're not streaming, bro. Then over here, I got my HyperX Quadcast S. About 140, maybe more. Very, very, very good mic, I would recommend. Very clean looking, very good sounding. Very good mic. I got my HyperX Cloud Flight wirelesses i believe that's what they're called really good pair of headphones they have 40 hours of battery life they're really comfortable noise canceling w pair of headphones bro on god i would cop like that's like one of the best pair of headphones you can get in my opinion personally they're like a hundred dollars maybe 120 really good headphones then i got my aki wireless i don't know exactly what the name is but it was about 20 dollars on new egg it's a really good webcam if you already have a mic because the mic on here sucks but it's a really good webcam if you just need the webcam and you don't have a lot of money i stream on twitch though and i have a webcam now so and i use face cam so i definitely need to upgrade soon comment down below if you know any good webcams that are not too expensive that i can cop probably like a hundred dollars ish so i definitely need to upgrade but yeah this is my webcam for now then i got my mouse pad just a regular mouse pad i looked up white and black mouse pads probably like 15 dollars. then i got my desk i have a ikea egg back in i believe 78 inches very good tabletop i was looking at so many tabletops to get and if you have a, a monitor mount and all that type of stuff I would really recommend this one if you want like a clean white one. This is probably the best one you can get. They are pricey though. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember exactly how much. Put it up on screen right here. So very good desk and it's definitely worth the price if you want a desk for long term. And then obviously just two Ikea Alex drawers. I love them. I have all my equipment. Like I have all hardware right here. Right here I have paperwork for all my stuff. Like, you know, instructions and stuff. And then right here I have all my camera equipment. More camera equipment, which I don't have much yet, but I'm gonna get more when I get more camera equipment. Then this is just random stuff. Then on this side, I got this is my remotes. Don't have many yet, but you know, it's gonna expand. This is uh, gaming hardware. I got a keyboard, you know, all types of gaming stuff, keycaps. This is random cables. This is PC hardware. And right here is my protein bars and snacks. Yo, peep this protein bar collection, bro. Yo, gotta get the gains in, bro. Gotta get the gains in, bro. Over here, I got some Nikes. I don't exactly know what kind they are, bro. Y'all educate me. I'm dumb as hell. Then I got some Jordan 1s. Uh, I believe they're called the Lucky Greens. I love these shoes, even though I've only worn once. And then I got some uh, light blue and black blazers. I don't know the exact name. These I got for free from my boss at work. These I bought for like 160 And then these I bought for about 110 120-ish. But yeah, man, that is the room tour for y'all boys. Y'all been asking. Go cop that chair. I know everybody wants the chair. Go cop it. But yeah, if y'all want any other type of videos, comment down below what type of videos y'all want from me. Um, we're on the come up right now, bro. If you want to go sub to your boy, bro, go sub to your boy if you like this video, if you like my content, bro. We're on the come up. We're about to grind for the rest of this year. We're about to go crazy. I love y'all boys. Appreciate y'all for watching this room tour. And your boy Gravity out.